Hey all, it's Moot. Welcome to Battery Basics for Vapors, Episode 2. Today we're going to talk about series and parallel connections with batteries for regulated and unregulated mods. If you're just looking for information for regulated mods, check the description for the timestamp and you can just jump ahead. Now let's get started. Now, it may look like a lot of stuff that's up here, but you're not going to have all these different setups. Well, probably not. Um, so maybe just one or two. So it's really not nearly as much as you might think or as it might look. Just to start, to give a base for everything, we'll start with just a single cell before we get into series in parallel. 4.2 volts, charge voltage. We're gonna use for an example here, 20 amps, 2500 mAh battery, mAh milliampere hours, the capacity of the battery or indication of how long it runs, and it's 4.2 volts. Now for anything you do with this setup, you're just gonna use Ohm's law. Remember, this is unregulated for all these setups here. We'll do regulated later. and. Don't exceed the rating of the battery, in this case 20 amps, and keep it in perfect condition. Just safety stuff I'll always like to emphasize because it is really important because these are very powerful batteries and they can react very badly. Explosions, fires, if they're short-circuited. So keep them in good condition and uh, uh, don't exceed the rating on them. So we've got that 4.2 volts across the battery, 20 amps capability. Our first setup will be series. This is when two batteries are connected end to end negative, positive, and then we'll go positive, negative, and then out. This doubles the voltage, so the voltage increases to 8.4 volts for two of them, 12.6 volts for three, 4.2, 4.2, 8.4 volts total. But the capacity does not change because all the current flows through both batteries. Both batteries come down at the same time. There's no splitting up of current or reduction of current in any battery. If you have 20 amps flowing through the coil, 20 amps goes from each battery, if it's 2500 ma, this setup, instead of 4.2 volts at 2500 ma, this would be 8.4 volts at 2500 ma equivalent, and this would be 12.6 volts at 2500 ma equivalent. A very important note, there are a lot of myths, or actually one myth out there with a lot of variations, saying that this cell or this cell or this cell or one of the cells will discharge more current than the other in series. That's not true. By definition, every cell in a series setup discharges at exactly the same rate or has the exact same current going through it. If there's 20 amps going through this circuit, both cells are discharging at 20 amps. And here, if it's 20 amps, all three are discharging at 20 amps. What we may be noticing or what may make people say this, that there's different amounts of current, is because every battery is different slightly different capacity, there's a different internal resistance, which affects voltage sag. We'll go into that in a later video. And so as the voltages come down, one's always gonna be a little lower than the other. And it looks like it's being drained harder or it's working harder. It's not. It, both are being discharged at exactly the same current level, but since one battery slightly lower, slightly lower capacity than the other, it's gonna to drain to a lower voltage faster than the other one. That's the only thing that's going on. The total current rating, which is very important when you're calculating any of these because the full current goes through all the batteries this is a 20 these are 20 amp setups the same as this so two batteries in series two 20 amp batteries in series still has a 20 amp rating three batteries in series still a 20 amp rating but because the voltage is a lot higher you need a higher resistance coil otherwise you're going to burn out your coil because this has a lot more power at 8.4 volts at 20 amps capability than 4.2 volts. This, again, a lot more power than the 8.4. And it's just watts equals volts times amps. You can manipulate this, it's called Watt's law. We'll deal with this more in a future video. Just wanted to introduce you to the term now. Important with series, they can become unbalanced. Two batteries in series, because they are different, slightly different, if you charge them, let's say you have an 8.4 volt charger and you're charging them up with a hobby charger or something at 12.6, 8.4 volts, after discharging and charging several times, both of these batteries are gonna be very different voltages. Namely, they can become unbalanced, and it's a reference to its voltage. So in, for any series setup, unregulated, you need to charge externally. Even for regulated, charge externally unless that mod has a reliable balancing charger or balancing feature that'll keep the batteries at about the same voltage if you charge them internally. But I recommend charging externally anyway, because it's faster, it's safer, you can track the battery temperature and how much capacity you put back in them to get an idea how quickly the batteries are aging. Next is parallel unregulated. This is where we have two batteries where the positive terminals are connected together. Instead of end to end, the positives and negatives are connected together. 
So if you've got 20 amps flowing through your circuit, it'll come up and then it splits and it goes through both batteries and goes back. Now it's 4.2 volts. The voltage doesn't add up like here. So the voltage stays the same as a single battery. The capacity increases because we have two batteries both contributing their capacity. You're gonna have a lot more capacity, a lot longer running time. Uh, so the capacity increases. If you have two cells at 2,500 ma, 2,500 ma, 2,500 ma, this will be equivalent of 5,000 ma. This, the equivalent of 7,500 ma. But what's great is because, and the biggest advantage of parallel, is because each one is running at half the current of the total that's flowing through the circuit. These run a lot cooler, more efficiently. The voltage will stay up a little bit higher, not as much voltage sag, so that uh, the batteries hit harder is the term in a reg uh, unregulated mod. If you got three in series, it's only 6.7 amps, 20 amps total, 6.7 amps. But notice, two batteries or three batteries in parallel, you're still at 4.2 volts. But because this is three batteries in parallel, this will last about three times longer than the single battery setup over there. One problem or issue you have to take into account is the current sharing, this is theory for this division, the current sharing isn't perfectly equal. Because the batteries have slight differences between them, one might do 12 amps, the other one 8 amps, the other one 11 amps, instead of 10, 10, and 10 amps. So what we can do is, and also the battery contacts and the wiring might be slightly different. You need to take that into account. And in a really badly made mod, that can make a big difference. So what we can do is say, hey, for two cells, both 20 amp rated, take 20 amps for the first one, and then one half of 20 amps for the second one. So two 20 amp batteries would have a rating of 30 amps total. Three 20 amp batteries would have 20 amp, 20 amp, and then one half of 20 amp, 50 amps total. This is just a rough guesstimate because we don't know how well the mod was built or the contacts or how different the batteries are or their condition. So it's just a way. If you notice one battery much hotter than the other, back off. Um, if all the batteries are running cool, they're all running about the same temperature, well, maybe you don't have to take one half of this. Maybe instead of 30 amps, if you have two 20 amp batteries, maybe you can do with 35 amps. Um, if you have three 20 amp batteries instead of 50 amps, you can do 55 amps maybe. But, you know, it, Use your best judgment there. If one's getting hotter than the others, don't try to push it any further. This is your safety. Now, one great thing about parallel setups is they always rebalance because the positives and negatives of all the batteries are connected together. If this one, let's say, tried to go to a lower voltage because it's slightly lower capacity, this one would take over and top this battery off. So there'd be current flowing in this little loop in addition to this big loop. So these two batteries will always end up being the same voltage. Now, as you're firing it, one may go down just a little bit. As soon as you stop firing, they both equalize their voltages. So parallel setups, unregulated, can be charged inside the mod. External charging is always still better, but you don't need to balance uh, in parallel. Now, power series, this is when you have four or more batteries. We've got a set in parallel, a set in parallel, and those two sets are put in series. So you have 8.4 volts, like a two battery series setup, and then you've got this doubling of capacity and current level here. So the voltage increases from 4.2 to 8.4 volts. The capacity increases because you have batteries in parallel. So if this was 2,500 and 2,500 ma, this would be a 5,000 ma equivalent, but at 8.4 volts instead of 4.2 volts here. Current rating increases also, same thing as here and here. You use the same formulas. This is a 20 amp and 20 amp. This would be a 30 amp. And this would be a 30 amp setup. And since they're in series, they both are getting the full amount of current. This whole thing would have that 30 amp rating, but 8.4 volts. This can supply incredible amounts of power and running time, but it's a big mod. Uh, but if you don't mind that, you can get a lot of benefits this way. Now, each parallel pair balances, but these two sets don't. So this and this battery will balance their voltages out all the time. These two will balance their voltages out all the time, but these two sets will not be in balance. Depending on the condition of the batteries, it could get really bad or they may stay fairly close. So external charging, always for setups like this. And that's everything for unregulated. Now for regulated, we've got to go to another board because I ran out of room. So we're going to get this puppy up here. In a way, regulated is incredibly easy, but explaining how gets a little bit harder. But really the only thing you have to remember is 
for a series parallel for a regulated mod. It does not matter. The current through two batteries in series in a regulated mod is exactly the same as the current through two batteries in parallel in a regulated mod if they're running at the same power. And we'll show examples here. So let's say we have a, hundred, a, a mod running at 100 watts, regulated mod, two batteries in series. Let's say they're four volts each, eight volts total. Now the wattage is equal to the voltage times the current. So you've got 100, eight volts. If you solve for the current, you have 12 and a half amps total. Now the batteries are in series. So the current is the same through both. So it's 12 and a half amps for this battery, 12 and a half amps for that battery. Always external charge, series setups. Now if we go to parallel, we've only have four volts across the batteries. So 100 watts, they're four volts, and then into the amps, if you solve for the amperage, 25 amps total. Well, that sounds really different, except we have two batteries in parallel. So that 25 amps gets divided by two because they're sharing the current, and you have 12 and a half amps per battery. It's the same. Now, depending on the condition of the contacts and the batteries, the current sharing isn't quite equal. Remember, we had to do some derating, subtracting a little bit of current from a little bit of from the rating of the battery to account for any differences between them. But for the theory, the current through the batteries is exactly the same. And for a good mod, a decently well-made mod, decent wiring, decent contacts, decent batteries, you have the same current through either battery. So you don't have to worry if your mod is series or parallel if you're working out how much current each battery is taking. The only thing that matters is the power setting. And you can go to episode three of Minding Your Moz, my series on my battery mooch channel, well, this channel, and you can get more information about calculating battery current for regulated mods and choosing batteries and some recommended batteries for them. Episode two covers unregulated mods if you want more information about Ohm's law and calculating battery current. Something you'll often hear about is, hey, I bought a two battery mod and it barely runs any longer than a one battery mod, regulated. This is important because two batteries should last twice as long as one. If you look at the, if you ran the math and did the equations, so we won't do it here, the amount of power or what you can deliver in a regulated mod for two batteries should be about twice as much as one. For three batteries, it should last another 50% longer than two. So why are some people seeing very little of a difference in a two battery mod running time? It might run nine hours and they're one battery mod ran eight hours. You'd think it would be a lot longer for the two battery mod. Well, different mods act differently. If a mod cuts off, let's say at 3.4 volts, when you're bringing the battery down as you're using it, and another mod cuts off at 2.8 volts, that mod at 2.8 volts is gonna run much longer on its batteries. So one battery mod that drops down at 2.8 volts may run almost as long as a two battery mod that cuts off at 3.4 volts. So if you have different mods, you really just can't compare them directly in terms of the running times unless you understand or you know where the cutoff voltages are. So that's an important thing to check if you're having problems or, or if you're trying to compare one mod to another in its running times. But otherwise, theoretically, if they have the same voltage, you should get much, much longer running time of two battery mod than one and out of a three battery mod versus two and et cetera and so forth. That's everything for today. Thank you for watching.